The Marina Vistas is a government-assisted apartment development in Vallejo, run by a nonprofit company. It sits in a redevelopment area on prime waterfront property. In the morning, what I enjoy the most is to look out my window and see all these beautiful trees. And the squirrels are playing, and the birds are playing, and then the children is off the wall on the way to school. For many of us, when we hear the words affordable housing or government housing, we immediately think of crime, drugs, rundown buildings, and bad people who are not like us. But how many of us have actually been to an affordable apartment community and asked the people who live there about what life is like? We have a big detriment to us, being 201 Main. That's got to go. Everything is in shambles. There's too much flow out of 201 Main. You take 201 Main, where those people hang out, you cannot compete against someone slinging dope and prostitution on the corner. We'll tear down this 201 Main and put that hospital and that complex right here. It's a misconception about the people that live here. You don't know what it's like to live in a community unless you live there. It's not what the media says it is. Are our deeply held beliefs about affordable housing based on myth or reality, stereotype, or actual knowledge? You think two cadets are going to be safe? Well, then it sounds oh like my God, God they're going to be a statistic. Them. You can put this on the tape. What 201 Main Street has created is exactly what we try to get rid of. Our ghettos. We don't need to warehouse people, we need to help people. You can go to bed at night and you don't have to worry about somebody. Uh, coming through your sliding door, trying That's to right. get through your window. I've never been bothered, ever. You can go on, I can take my sleeping pill and <laughs> wake up in the morning <laughs> in one piece. This is a nice place to raise your children. At first I was living in the D building in a three bedroom, large place, beautiful, you know, and then when my kids grew up, moved out, they allowed me to move here where the flowers are. I love it here, actually, I've had no problems over here. The um, management's nice, the people around us were nice and everything. It's a place where you live and you're comfortable and it's very comfortable for seniors, for older people. I've lived here for seven years. I have um, three girls and one boy. My oldest actually could be 20 in July. I just had one graduate honor student just graduated from Hogan last Thursday. And I have another honor student, that my daughter, uh, she's 16 and then I have a 11 year old. I'm a single parent. It's a place where you can relax. You can travel all through the park and, and you don't have to worry about anybody attacking you or bothering you. I'm not gonna say we never have any problems, we do. However, I will say that once we know of a problem, we take care of it right away. They look out for us. If you go and tell them something is wrong, they're gonna handle it. They take care of it, they do. They really do. Because we've taken on the role of a no tolerance here for criminal activity, drug activity. We don't want them here. If everything checks out, then they move in. If things don't check out, then we deny their application. The other day, um, we had, um, my daughter was playing out here, and then I didn't hear her. She had went to the park. Well, one of my neighbors here told me that she was at the park and actually brought her back to me. We watch out for each other. We have no fear here. We work hard to keep a peaceful, enjoyable living situation for our residents here. KTV News' Craig Debrow is in Vallejo right now. He has all the details. Good morning, Craig. Hey, good morning, Dave. Police say over the past 21 days, 21 days in a row, they've either had a shooting victim or evidence of a shooting. The latest happened here at the Marina Vista Apartments. The two were hanging out in front of the apartment building when two men heading east on Main opened fire from a moving silver sedan. The very latest uh, here at the Marina Vista Apartments, just a reminder, one council member who says a landlord here is not doing enough. We really have to rely on property um, owners to, do, to monitor their own properties. And we've requested this property owner in particular um, step up their security levels. They've been relying on the City of Vallejo's public safety services to provide security for their complex. The development is in an economically depressed city, therefore we hired private security to protect our residents from surrounding crime. It's not the greatest, I'll be truthful about that, but it's not the worst. I've enjoyed every, the whole time I've been here. These are working people. We get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, catch the bus at 8.25 to be at school by 9.30 because we go to school in Fairfield. 
There's a lot of people that get up every morning and go to work. Oh, well, I work, see, and I play bridge. I never see her. I, I stay busy. I started my own business. It's coming around. It took a few years. I had a good job. You know, I was working in San Francisco. I was about to be the mayor, the manager, the mayor, the <laughs> manager of that Ross on 4th and Market. And I was going to be the first young little black girl that was going to run that, 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 and my husband broke my back and everything ended. I moved from Oakland to Vallejo for safety. And I've been out here ever since. And since I've been here, God knows the change that has come over my life. So I was going to school to be a teacher. My oldest, I've, um, by the age of one, she already knew her alphabets. How long have you lived here, Shiny? 11 years. And, and what about you, Anne? 76. Since 1977. 33, 34 years. We got tons of family here that has like two, three, five kids, and everybody gets along. My two daughters are building my website, so they do web design. So yeah, I have, and then my son also works with me on, he's out of school right now, so he does a lot of the muscle work for me right now. So. I was a single mother. Raising him alone is hard, but I did it. You have to have 10 arms and 10 legs. <laughs> well, I had a lot of children when I was young. My family is very her friendly. family because they're going to look out for the both of us. My granddaughter, yeah. she comes over here she, to see her before mm -hmm. she comes to my house. Mm -hmm. She gets <laughs> jealous. <laughs> There's a lot of good families here. Yeah, we do have our bad stuff, but we also have a lot of good, too, that outweighs the bad. I know one that's in school for an uh, attorney, one going to school to be a pediatrician. They see the negative, but they don't come inside to see the positive. They need to come inside, not just look on the outside. They need to come in and talk to us one-on-one. -on -one. Get to know the people. If Ann need me, I'm here. That's right. And if I need yeah. Ann, she's there. And, and it's, it's... That's the way it should be. That's right. Get to know the facts before you cast, you, before you cast judgment. But just a little bit. I think this can be the most beautiful place there is for people to live. Over its existence, it has had a negative reputation, including among some of the city's public officials and business leaders. But Marina Vista is home and community to many people. And though it's not perfect, Marina Vista provides those people with a safe, affordable place to live and raise their families. We're all humans. Whether we're different color, different height, male, female, older, child, we all have a right to be treated with respect and dignity. Have you seen something um, have you seen something like amazing?